the objective of, of the session is to understand why should I learn Hadoop and related technologies. I mean, uh, I'm sure uh, there are lots of you who might be in this industry for more than a decade. Uh, you might be working in one technology or the, or the other. Let's say someone might be working on Java, someone on Oracle, someone on .NET for a very long time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's but natural to ask this question. Why should I learn Hadoop? You know, I'm already doing good in my job. So, I'll answer that as well. So, why move to Hadoop? Hadoop is red hot, red hot as is, right? As it allows distributed processing of large data sets across clusters of computing using simple programming model. One, it is simple programming model. Two, it's simple commodity hardware. And three, it's very cost efficient. Four, it is uh, extremely uh, you know, scalable. Let's say, for example, you want to increase uh, your database space, right? You are working on Oracle. We would, uh, I'm sure there will be many DBS here who will understand. And even for others who do not understand, every time you need to add space on, on your uh, Oracle cluster, you need to bring it down. There is a schedule maintenance, and then they say that the system will be down for so many hours. We are adding so much of space or so, many, so much of processing speed, so on and so forth, right? The scalability is a problem there. In case of Hadoop, it is just one line addition of IP address. That's it. Open a file and type in the IP address. That's it. You're done. You know, you have added that node to a cluster. And then it need not be in same geographical location as well. One can be in India, China, America, Taiwan, wherever you want to. And it has become the de facto standard for storing, processing, and analyzing hundreds of terabytes and petabytes of data. Can you imagine processing terabytes and petabytes of data. I'm sure many of you will be working in big MNCs, multinational companies, um, and that which would be in operation from, let's say, 30, 40 years, or let's say 20 years. They would have so much of data stored for the past 20 years. Right? If you are in manufacturing industry, you'll understand that all the forecasting done, all, uh, all other analysis done are done on few years of data. It's not even done on 20 years of data. Right? Because we actually do not have that capability. The servers do not have that capability uh, to process so much of data, even if it is existent in your database, relational database. It's cheaper to use in comparison to other traditional proprietary technologies such as Oracle, IBM. It's open source. Right? It's free, free for all. Just go and grab it. Just learn it and grab it. So it's, it's, it, it's free. And even if you want to use customized uh, uh, in a solution like uh, uh, Cloudera or Hortonworks or uh, Amazon Web Services, I think it becomes much cheaper than uh, the other technologies. And can handle all types of data from disparate systems such server, log, email, sensor data, pictures, videos. Just think of it and Hadoop will be able to process the data for you. Okay. So moving on. So. Here is something from Alice Hill, managing director of Dice.com, again uh, a job portal in states. We have heard it's a fad, heard it's hype, and heard it's fleeting. Yet it's clear that data professionals are in demand and will pay. Tech professionals who analyze large data streams and strategically impact the overall business goals of a firm have an opportunity to write their own ticket. What does this mean? It's highly in demand. Okay. It means that you can demand your money. If you know well, I'm not saying that if you start uh, reading today, you'll be expert tomorrow. I'm saying that if given substantial amount of time, given uh, that if you are guided well, if you are able to execute a couple of projects, learn something in six months, maybe you can you can write your own ticket. You know, who knows? You can you can demand your own money, how much ever you want, and that's true. Trust me. As per 2012-2013 salary survey by DICE, a leading career site for technology and engineering professionals, out of, you see, this might interest you, okay? Out of big three, mobile, cloud, and data, there's one that is having disproportionate impact on salaries. It's big data, okay? Salaries reported by those who regularly use Hadoop, NoSQL, and MongoDB are all north of 100,000. It's It starts with 100,000 USD. That, that's huge salary, okay? By comparison, average salaries for technologies closely associated with cloud and virtualization are just under 90,000. Many of you might be working on SAP, right? You said SAP is quite in high demand. But is that sustainable? Even if you are working on something which is high in demand right now, trust me that 
few years down the line that will not be sustainable. If you are just an Oracle uh, professional, it's not enough. If you're just a SAP professional, it's not enough because technology is changing rapidly. You need to know something. I mean, you need to know big data. Okay, and big data is not one technology. It's it's a stack of technologies. Okay, and, and uh, if you want to stay abreast in this industry, you 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 start learning. You you definitely have to start learning. 